Hey, orange one here. So, uh, I traveled to a new system here. Um, Aether Red Giant. It was just a little bit over from the other one that we were at, and I, I just wanted to do a little bit of the exploring um, before having you join up with us so that then I could just show you some stuff. Um, this place has a ton of different plants. I've fully, fully surveyed that. I haven't done this one or that one, so I'm planning on surveying these. It also has quite a few relics and stuff, including a mining station. Um, we're pretty full on stuff, so I think we're going to use our supplies on doing the surveys. And then when we're done with that, we'll, uh, we'll see about that mining station. Wait, what? No way. Oh, wow. Look at this plant. We need to colonize that. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, my cat is, uh, being a cat. Hey, 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 come on. Get down. Um, she was not as excited as me about this, uh, this amazing place. Um, pretty isolated, but by and large, I think that this is what we want to do next. Explore the ruins. We don't have much storage space. No, we're not going to explore the ruins. We'll, we'll be back here. I can almost guarantee it. I really do want to check out that mining station and refield and all that, but I'll have to come back here with people with cargo capacity and a colony. Maybe just do the cargo capacity at first. I'm not really 100% sure about how it all works. Oh wow, look at that debris field. That's a huge one. Uh, perform a survey. Yes. Oh man. Extensive ruins and ultra-rich ore deposits. Oh, you're pretty high hazard rating though. We could explore the ruins. Yeah, we gotta come back here and do some ruin exploring. That sounds a bit... Um, it looks like that's coming around here, so why don't we go to like there. And then we'll check out this other planet. This. Oh, oh yeah, I already came through here. There's just like some junk of mine. You can see that there's uh, extensive amounts of stuff that I couldn't pick up currently. It's like, why go get more stuff? Even though, sure, there might be an AI core or whatever. The AI core is only as useful as a... Uh... Okay, that's a fleet. Oh wow, this is so close to the solar flare. Yeah, we actually just got hit by that solar flare. Can I just stop this for a second? That derelict ship... I might want to pick that up. The freighter. Yeah. No luck. Are we actually already... No, we're not. We're not at our carrying capacity, so we'll pick that up for now. Survey that. Sure. Pretty good. It's not nearly as good as the other ones that we were looking at there. Looks like there's some sort of debris field or something in there. Okay, well, I'm pretty happy with what we got explored there. Surveyed there. This definitely is going to be a colony of ours. I don't I don't think the other plants will be, but this is such a good opportunity. And there's those ruins there, which could have good stuff, and ruins on these other planets as well. In addition to that, we got ourselves some survey data. We've got... Yeah, I mean, it's not a lot of money from that, but that that's a pretty penny. Same with that. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, why don't we, while we're out here... Would like to see this yellow star. If I'm looking at our quests uh, and the Intel screen, don't we have like a? There's like an AI core here that we know for sure is that the Beta Para Atari yellow star. Also, a debris field that we know is there. Um, I feel like we want to do some surveying, so why don't we jump to here, and then to there. 
black hole I feel like is gonna have uh, some good stuff in it as well I don't know who that is they look pretty dangerous though there's a lot of ships just out in the middle of nowhere here but just keep on flying We're using a little extra supplies why are we using extra supplies Aren't we under our carrying capacity? Nah, it looks like we're okay. I don't know if that was like a bug or something. I think we'll just explore a little bit. See what else we've got survey-wise, and then we'll come back and loot. And we really have a lot of storm though between us and home, so... Alpha Mero. That distress beacon might be trouble. Let's come in at this point and see what we got. There's not saying that there's anyone right there for us. Okay, a lot of volcanic worlds. Okay, good surveying opportunities. Go there first. We do know there's a distress beacon in here somewhere, so we can actually check them out and see if they are legit or not. If you look, we're only using five supplies each time we survey, so we're getting a pretty good deal here. Okay. Honestly, I didn't even look at that one. I think it's too inhospitable for me. These volcanic worlds. I should probably be looking at it though. Uh, I show that info. Can I see it? Yeah, 120 or 250, not 120. Why did I say that? Also, look at our our colony. We're making decent amount of money now, and we've got nearly nine percent growth. I think that's what gotta be. Three-ish months from now, we'll be at the next tier level. This is going to take 15. Worth it, though. Wow. And we keep on getting some good stuff out here. Maybe I just jumped the boat too early with our first colony. Because we just went for, like, anything that was, like, okay. I mean, 150, we haven't seen many that are actually better than 150 habitability. Um, besides, you know, that amazing water world. This takes 25 supplies. Ore deposit, ultra rich ore deposits. There seems to be a lot of ore deposits in the system. Okay, we are down to the 400 something supplies. Yeah, this is a pretty crazy system, but none of them are that hospitable. Um, I think if I'm looking at this, if I wanted to go back to there, I wanted to lay course for there. How long would that take? Maybe come out here just a little bit, yeah. Uh, it says it's going to take 14 days. Oh, you, you seem not too bad. Okay. You actually look like a legit... Uh, Except 10 fuel. Yeah, and little, little points with independence. Leave them. You're welcome. Uh, so if we're trying to go back, it says it's going to take 14 fuel, or 14 days. 14, yeah, we got tons of supplies to get back. Let's keep on going out then into space to the great beyond.
I am curious about the uh, black hole system as well, but this is more likely to have uh, like a good planet for us is a yellow star. So I think because we're trying to survey and find uh, like a dream world, this is probably a better system for us to check out. It does not look that promising though. And there's a, a tundra world. That might be a might be a good habitable option for us. Okay, this one's pretty easy. Trees of all tiles or Garret Ruins. We'll just go through it systematically and see what we find, yeah? Oh, it's only been 11 minutes. The surveying business goes by quick and you get a lot of good stuff. Yeah, that's pretty good. I feel like it's a little bit broken with the surveying equipment if you just like load up a ton of ships with that. It seems to work very well for you. I think we want to catch this one before it goes too far around that sun. And then we'll come back to the other. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Arm a survey. Yep. The one planet left is the one that I'm really interested in that's up here. I think that this is that tundra world. This could be an okay world. Could be worth it. Yeah, I'm thinking once we get down to like 200-ish or so supplies, we should definitely head back. Just keep us a little little, little wiggle room, you know? Oh, bountiful farmland. Nice. So that, this could be our farm. So this is a potential option. And it's 100% habitability. That's pretty good. And it's pretty far out there, though, is the problem. Um, should we start looping back around? Or should we go for that AI core? I kind of feel like we're close to the AI core. We should go for it. I will try and go there. I think the distance. This is going to take nine days to get there. We're doing it. We're going deep space. We're going to see what AI core it has in here. And it's a pretty much a guaranteed AI core, so I have to check that out, you know? And then we'll we'll start making our way back, I think. I mean, we do have plenty of supplies, so we're okay. Ouroboros, that's actually... I don't think that's where we're going. Okay, we're just going here. Oro Let's start out in the outer system. I, I tend to like that. I just love the visuals in this game. Okay, there we go. That's the technological cache. Go there. I bet it, it says we have to fight off some remnants and that we're going to need a fighting force. But I mean, it's possible that it doesn't, though. So. At this point, I'm kind of just letting the months run down. Okay, there's no remnants outside. Now the question is, are there any inside? Floor. Yeah, that's a lot of automated defenses. Can't really afford that to do that. Yeah, they would crush us. No way that I'm fighting you all. Well, while we're here, let's at least survey. Get some survey data. Then we'll start, I think, looping back a little bit. Yeah, that was a not a not a great world. <laughs> oh man, 
I do like this though. This is kind of cool doing this exploring. It reminds me of Elite Dangerous doing the exploration where it's not quite as fun as the combat. It's really interesting in its own own way, you know? Yep, perform a survey. Sure. Ooh, that was not a half bad one. Okay. Uh, now the question is, let's just test this out. I'm just curious as to what it says. Yeah, there's nothing. Um, I think we kind of want to go back to these and let's check out that orange star. That would probably be good. Probably our best, most likely colony-ish looking plant. Though we do have two potential colonies. I don't know what I'm doing looking for more. I mean, I suppose, you know, it is possible that we'll find something that's a lot better, but I kind of doubt it, you know? I could have also checked out those uh, red stars, but yeah, didn't do that, did I? Uh, try and turn through here a little bit. And there's not really much I can do about this. Okay, we'll try and go here. Yeah, I don't like these distress beacons. I really don't. They're, they're totally freaking me out. Okay, uh... Let's go and join up at this point. I kind of suspect these stars are close enough that they're actually gonna have the same like system map. If we look here, actually no, we're not. We're, oh wow. Seriously, just got zero planets around it. That's a shame. Can I do a neutrino detector? Saying there might be something down here. Well, let's just, uh, because we have to turn around anyways, we'll get out to here and see what it says now. Yeah, no, I think it's a false reading. A shame. Why don't we go to that then? Seeing how this is like a very boring system, right? <laughs> yeah, I really liked an Elite Dangerous um, flying out into deep space. I think when I flew, I just picked a direction. It just happened to be outside of the plane. Uh, what are you? Whatever you are. You don't seem too interested in me. I really liked flying outside the plane there because you got to see some really crazy cool stuff. There's an arid world here. That is probably our best bet at a good planet, I think. And yeah, I remember driving or flying outside of the galactic plane, going like kind of to the edge of that plane and then just looking up and then just seeing like empty space. Like, no, not stars, just emptiness. There was like, I think you could see a galaxy in the distance or two, but not, it was, oh, this is, this is going to be a good planet. And organics, sparse, or farmland, really? Aw, uh, it's got such a low habitability, it is tempting. Combining that with the two stable uh, points that we have around here, it could make a decent colony still. I'm just going to survey these for the survey data. Go check this out. And then we'll start making our way towards those other ones. Surveying is... I mean, they were trying to make it more fun in that game. They tried to make there be like some little mini games. And I actually... I haven't played since they really up revamped it, so maybe it's better now, but I remember I did not enjoy surveying a lot for like the gameplay. And visually it was it was interesting. And it was I don't wanna like 
completely smack talk it because I did find it kind of interesting some of the stuff that was going on there. Okay, perform a survey. Yep. But like this is like gameplay wise, it's pretty dull stuff. The whole exploring. I do like uh, rolling my dice, so to speak, and seeing what RNG gives us. I think that water world that we started off with was the best. The RNG divined for us. Yeah, let's just look at our survey data. We've got like 10k there, 60k there. So that's 10 plus 60 is 70, that's 80. Plus 95, almost 100k in an episode. I mean, comparing that to bounty hunting, that's pretty good return in, on your investment. We want to go to here, so I think what we want to do is make our way to these. Like, did we actually? We preliminary surveyed one plant there, but we didn't actually survey gap. Now, I, I do vaguely remember that now. Let's start making our way towards there. Monthly expenses. Yeah, it's fine. How are we doing here? Growth is at 10%. Is that? Yeah, it says 93. Sorry, I'm like leaning back in my chair. I'm like, just like kicked back surveying. So in the next month, we will actually have grown to the next size, which I think our colony is going to be very, very profitable at that point. Now, can we steer around these storms a little bit? No, we cannot. Oh, we're going to get a little bit of damage. Not much that we can do about that. Go here. Yeah, this looks like this is going to have quite a few planets, actually. Oh, and actually there's a comm relay. Off the get-go, there's already a comm relay here. Baron, Baron, this looks interesting. Ice Planet. Ice Planet is probably our best bet. We're not going to mess up the uh, comm relay. Because this could be a potential colony for us, you know? An ore, moderate rare ore. Vast Ruins, nice, that's pretty good. I know we're being silly by not exploring all these ruins, but maybe now we have the... We actually have the storage capacity where we, we would be fine doing that. Yeah, go ahead and get the kites. Yeah, now that we've opened up like 200 something storage, I'd be fairly comfortable just exploring some ruins or whatever. Or, you know, Carrying 15 like prehistoric organs from like who know, knows how long those hearts have just been frozen out in space you know like frozen food sometimes freaks me out and then it's like nope we're going for that okay there looks like there's some there's there's a fair amount of debris here you know these debris fields do actually sometimes have uh, some good stuff, like info like that. Oh, we just got the ability to survey some more plants there. I suspect this has like an AI core or something floating around in here. We'll dump the metal, it's fine. We're losing some heavy machinery, but we've got like nearly 300 of it. Yeah, this looks like this is not gonna up anything worthwhile. Phaeton tanker. Oh, rare. Okay. Interesting. And we're getting near our maximum already. See what I mean? Like, just looting some stuff with this is... Okay, there's a mining station. This could have an AI core. I'm going to do it and probably dump a lot of metal, is what I'm thinking. Okay. No AI core. That is worth it. So are these. I get rid of all of our metal. Not all of it. And then we'll 
we'll take the remainder as you. Yep. See what I mean? Like, if you do that a few times, you're going to get all these supplies, which are pretty good. I mean, to be honest, we could just dump those supplies and just go for the AI cores. It is worth it, probably, for us to do that. Yep, there's some sort of fleet coming our way. Probably means we don't want to be around for them. Bet we can outrun them, though. Keep on going up here. Go to our icy planet with its moon. Actually, it looks like they're not even bothering with us. Like I said earlier, though, we're not really set up for fighting right now. There's something that blipped over here. Sorry. My curiosity has gotten the better of me. I need to know. What is this? Valkyrie class. Um, this is... A troop transport. How much would that cost us to... Eh. I think that's worth picking up. What's its combat? Or it's a... Cargo capacity is pretty low. It can have up to 300 people on it, though. We already have our colony ships, so I think that we're okay without that. And so I got 3D mods on it, so... Pretty trash, you know? Yeah. Oh, there's another debris field out here. Oh my goodness. See what I mean? You get distracted. And the amount of salvage that's in this system, I think, is a good thing. Uh, let's get rid of you all. Get that. And get rid of... Gosh. I'm not sure. No, I think that we're good on that. Because we are heading back to our our, our base anyways. Okay, let's check this out. I think, oh, wrong button. Pear. Let's go check out the icy pear. Oh, also you might want to do that. Maybe. A good idea. <laughs> and there's even a floating something over there. It's probably like a mining station, I bet. Oh, 65. We actually do not have enough people to do... That survey, that is uh, quite the survey there. Uh, maybe go check out this barren world and at least do that. It's okay. The shame about Pear being uh, an ice giant. Oh look, our colony's up to Oh, look at how much money it's making. Oh my goodness. Okay, our money problems just... Well, we don't have money problems now. <laughs> Let's just say that. If I look at our group, our income... Yeah, it's got to be making like at least 10k for us. Uh, Methulia. If I look here... Um, Could get fuel production here, or I could set it up on one of our new worlds. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do. Because I mean, anything that's high maintenance, we're gonna put on other planets pretty soon. I and mean, we could put refining on here. It's pretty low maintenance. Yeah, let's, uh... Probably want to do that there. And, I mean, they'll generate even more money for us, and then we can get our colonies built. They're gonna have these high things like, um... Actual industry, like heavy industry and light industry, and... Fuel production, we can get all of those on one of those lower cost plants. Let's do that. We'll do refining. Yep. We'll take a good amount out of our 
our cash, but it will be worth it. I hope. Um, in any case, I think that that's pretty good for us. Probably gonna go um, head back to our our system here. Probably gonna jump to some of these systems on the way. I'm not sure how many. We'll see. In any case, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.